Okay, we got this uh, ground down a little bit and put in there. It's sitting a little bit better than it was. I'm not absolutely happy with it yet, so I may play with that a little bit more. But uh, getting back to the installation, there's one more big thing I need to do, and that is the external microphone. So if you guys didn't know already, maybe many of you do, this little spot here to the uh, other side of the, the gauge cluster here is actually a speaker um, internal for, you know, if you got the right uh, um, stereo system and whatnot. This will be a speaker hole here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this top uh, gauge cluster piece off. I'm going to run the speaker into this and then I'm going to run the wire back here. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to take off this top gauge cluster. And I have this pick tool that I kind of use in here. Be very careful because, as you know, these cars are a little bit older and uh, um, they, they tend to break easily. Plastics. Okay, that was pretty easy. I, I had it out before. That's probably why. But this is your speaker holder. And uh, I'm going to try to put it in there. Seen a couple videos on this. You kind of got to take apart the actual external speaker to get it to fit in there but I'll try a few things we'll take this over to the bench and see what we can do there but let's uh, go ahead and take the rest of this off this is going to take the whole button out so don't freak out when that comes out but this is going to give us access to the T20 Torx here and a T20 Torx here the only two screws holding this gauge cluster on and then you got to kind of pop it up might want to have a magnet handy. Now, if you really want to take this gauge cluster out, you have to uh, take this out. There's two two pins here, and it'll slide back for you, as well as the um, the actual connections to the to the gauges. The best way to do that is lean it forward and work from uh, outside the windshield so you can see it. Very easy plugs. It's just uh, a pull up the tab and it slides right out. I'm not going to go through all that because all I'm doing is going to run the uh, the uh, wire through there. So with that, we can kind of see I'm going to kind of run it right up there, crossed here through this hole, and come out by the vent again, just like we have the GPS. So with that, um, and you can kind of see the clip here. One clip there. There's a clip here and then one clip over here so that just pulls straight up all right with that let's take this down see if we can get the microphone fitted in here and then we will run the wire okay guys back down in the bench let's go ahead and open up this microphone here so this is our external microphone that we're going to try to get in here as you can see this is a little bit bigger I mean, I could jam it in there and, and have it sit like that, but uh, I think we can do a little bit better. So let me go ahead and uh, there's one screw right down here at the bottom uh, that holds that top part on. Let me take that off. Okay, now we get this. This is the internals of the, uh, the microphone. I kind of like how it's set like that and it's not going to move around. Um, I did see where uh, another person took all of this out and just kind of stuffed it in there. But I'm going to see if I can just get that to kind of wedge in there a little bit. Um, something like that. Um, I think if I take off this double face tape here, it might give me a little bit more room. But see if we can't uh, wedge that in there a little bit. Yeah, guys, I think this is my route, and this is how I'm going to go with this. I'm just going to wedge it in there. It'll be easy to take out. Um, I think there's enough friction in there. It's not going to pop out. And, you know, if it does, I can always pop this off again and, uh, and put it in there. Maybe put some uh, glue on it or something like that. But I think that's, I mean, it's not falling out. So let's go ahead and go with that. And um, let's go back up to the car and get this line run. Okay, guys, I actually did decide to take off the gauge cluster. It was just too much of a pain in the butt trying to get that routed through. 
um, the the little hole back here and in, in, in whatnot. So basically what I got, I got the uh, um, the microphone put in here now. So I'll go ahead and, and punch that in. It comes through the back here. And uh, I don't know if you can see this or not, probably not, but I'll try to point it out. It basically comes through here. I've got the wire routed around here, just right on top of the gauge cluster. Nice little pinch right here so that it kind of stays in. And then I'm gonna have it come out here. It goes in um, to the uh, radio area right here. This is your, um, your hazard switch that I pulled out. Um, and then comes back in here. Whoops, wrong one. Uh, where's it? Right here. That. And then I'll I'll clean up these wires so there's not a bunch hanging out there. But I think I left enough uh, uh, excess by the microphone so I can take that off without having to rip all that out. Um, and we'll we'll get a, enough excess here. But now you can kind of see a little bit more of what you need to do to take out the uh, the gauge cluster. So these are the clips. There's there's three of them in the back. And basically what it is, is these, these little clips here slide back and forth. Um, there's, a, there's a little pin on the back. You just hold it down and then this slides over that. And, um, and then once you get it all the way to the bottom, it just pops right out. Pretty easy. This, uh, a little bit different. Um, so the plug here <coughs> plugs into this. And uh, what you need to do on the underside of this is get a little screwdriver in here and uh, move that up. Make sure you pinch these so it will come out um, uh, of the dash here. So pinch that, get those loosened and pulled out a little bit, get a little screwdriver in here, just easily, you know, force it out, uh, wedge it out. And then on the bottom here, all there is is this little pin right here. You just move that over a little bit and this thing drops right out. So really, really super easy. So that said, um, I'm going to go ahead and put all this stuff back together. You guys don't need to see that. And uh, we'll be back to kind of start buttoning all this up.